Hello, my name is Steve. I want to welcome you to my YouTube video. Um, this is going to be session three of the game progress update and kind of show you some of the things I have going on. I'm happy to report I've made a lot of improvements. Uh, there's still many things to go here. I'm going to be updating some more of the graphics, but I added some more of the screens and I'll show you some of the other tricks I've been doing. But I still got some obstacles to, you know, climb over. So I'll just kind of show you what I have right now. So this is him in room one. And you notice right now I can scroll left and right, but there's some glitches here. You'll see at the side here that some of the rooms reappear. This is only because when I first load this in, it's not letting me load the screens in. And I'll, I'll explain that why later. So anyways, right now, if I go back here right now, it, it's still going to glitch here a little bit. So once we get out of this room, it won't glitch anymore. So what's it's doing? It's just looking for this room. So once you get to this room, it's already looking at both of these. And yeah, it glitched there again, but... You can see the scrolling is working, and it's going to allow me to go from room to room here. Let me see if it glitches this time. Might let me go back. Okay, so what's happening is it's redrawing this room again, and once I come back here again, this is something I have to fix. It'll, it'll allow me to walk back into this room. It should. I'll show it to you. Okay, so actually this is the second room, so I need to actually fix that to be the second room. So let's see if I go back one more time. And let's see if it does that or not. Hopefully not. Okay, so it's good this time. Just I needed to reset some of the, the scroll maps and stuff like that. Now this is still flashing here. I you have to figure out if that's you know something to do with the raster or what that is. It's kind of weird. Uh, so you can see me. I can move back both directions. And I added some bigger rooms here. Really starting to enjoy this scrolling thing. And here's like the main computer room. Maybe have it like um, where you'll look into outer space and you'll see you know, aliens approaching or whatever. And then this is going to be, once if I can implement it's going to be like an up level. It's going to allow you to start scrolling up and go to upper levels. But right now, it's going to glitch. So it's going to repeat this room again. Just wanted to show it to you even though it's glitching. You can see I can walk in both directions, no issues. It's working like a real game now. And I love the scrolling idea because you can just kind of move one room into the next. You don't have to sit there and wait till you get off the screen, you know. It just gives a better feel to it, more realistic, you know. Okay, so there's room one again. Let's see if it glitches this time. Nope, it's good now. Once I go all the way back to the first room, it seems to be fine. I'll be adding more character graphics in it later. It should not glitch this time, hopefully not. Looks good. Okay. So, now to show you just some of the things that I've been doing here. And first I wanted to introduce to you um, character pad here. This is where um, I've implemented all my screens here. Actually this isn't the one, let me see. That one, one on the top. Okay, so it's this one right here. So what I've done is I've, I've changed the width from here from 40 to 255. And you can see now I have them all here in one place rather than just having it room by room and level by level. This allows me to load one giant binary file. Just like, you know, the pros were doing it before, basically. And, um... The only thing is, is when I first loaded up, it's going to glitch this room because I can't get it to redraw this room since I'll explain that in a minute. It's trying to draw all the way across the screen instead of drawing inside of these parameters. And let me show you that line that's doing that since I've talked about it. right here is to draw sky routine so right here what I've kind of does I've changed some of my order code and I'm trying to redraw the screen down here by loading in 253 which gets up here you can ignore all this but now it 
It gets to 253 right here, which reads it directly from game screen low. If we go to game screen low here, I changed it to read only the first map. So this GMAP is down here. If you look at GMAP 4, I'll rename it later, but GMAP 4 is loading in this giant room, this giant scrolling feature that you just saw. Instead of just loading it room by room now, it's one giant map. And then, let me just get back there real quick. And then now that you know that, what it's doing is it's, it's reading that data in the room, but it, what it's doing is it's reading it all the way across the entire map. I can't get it to read directly within the 40 by 40 room, since the, um, the map itself is now much larger. The map goes up to 255, so I need to kind of figure out a way to get this algorithm working here. I tried doing like Advocary 4 and stuff like that, but I can't get it to work right. So for now, that's what I have. Um, the only way I could do is draw it all the way down the screen, but that would be a lot of drawing just to draw it all the way down. And each time I'm drawing it down, I have to add with carry 255 because it's 255. And I'll show you where I also did that at over here. I think it's down below here. Right here when you see that this the scroll left routine. And instead of adding the 40 down the screen here, it's adding the 255 since if you look at my map here again, as I explained, this goes all the way over to 255, so I have to get past this 255 range, which is even outside the map here as I'm continuing to draw it, of course, to get to the next line. Now, when you do a regular draw, it's usually just going to draw straight down the screen, and what it's trying to do is it's trying to draw all the way across the screen, and it, it kind of it glitches. I'll show you what happens when I run it here. You'll see it glitches everything. So see, it's not drawing it. It's just drawing it all the way across the line, drawing it across the line until it gets to 255 and it starts over again. So I need to work on that for now, but I, I kind of hit it here earlier just to show you where it starts at. So if I scroll back here, if I go back here again, it's, it's, it repeats stuff again. So I need to fix that too. That's just because of where the map is not redrawn at first. But other than that, you know, at least I got the scrolling part really working now, and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I've also added in, the other guy recommended adding in the, um, the columns, taking out the columns. I did that right here with both routines here by setting bit 3 to enable 38 column mode. So thanks Bagel or Bagel for that. And same thing with the right. I'm just adding the 255 to get all the way across the screen and start at the new level again, right in the new, the new line. So I've really done, haven't really done anything else, just working on that scrolling feature and just kind of trying to per, you know, perfect it in every way I can. But like I said, sure beats just going from room to room to room as you've always seen all my other videos do. But that's, that's all I was limited before because I didn't really understand scrolling until I really put, put my, my effort into it finally was able to get it to work. So I'm pretty happy. You know, this, is, this is a great leap for me, I think. And I'll be able to share it with you guys finally so you can start doing your own scrolling stuff. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, uh, please like and subscribe to this channel. And, yeah, this is um, Steve Marl signing off. And look forward to um, setting up a Google Hangouts for this week as well, guys. So, take care.